All three Sea Wolf class boats carry a crew complement of 140, 14 commissioned officers and 126 enlisted sailors, and boast a maximum speed of 35 knots, with a silent speed of 20 knots. Why are there so few Sea Wolf class submarines? In Mother Nature, Sea Wolf is another name for the Atlantic wolf fish, an Arhicus lupus, a rather gruesome looking sea creature that survives in waters with temperatures as low minus 1 to 11 degrees Celsius. It preys upon hard shell crustaceans, mollusks, and echinoderms. The animal's namesake in the world of nuclear-powered fast attack submarines SSNs, the US Navy's Sea Wolf class submarines, can also survive extremely cold waters. They are deadly predators to would-be seagoing adversaries. However, the Sea Wolf subs would also probably qualify for the endangered species list due to the fact that so few were built, especially in relation to how many were planned. Spawning the Sea Wolf Subs The Sea Wolves, or would that be Sea Wolves, were conceived as the intended successor to the US Navy's venerable Los Angeles class SSNs, which were commissioned between 1974 and 1996. Design work on the Sea Wolf class at the General Dynamics Electric Boat Company began at the height of the Cold War in 1983, with the notional intention of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Soviet ballistic missiles submarines SSBNs, such as the Typhoon class and attack subs such as the Akula class boats. However, the collapse of the Soviet Union and the resulting peace dividend threw a proverbial wrench into the works and cast some serious doubts on the future viability of the Sea Wolf project. A fleet of 29 submarines was to be built over a 10-year period, but that was reduced to 12 submarines. The end of the Cold War and budget constraints led to the cancellation of any further additions to the fleet in 1995, leaving the Sea Wolf class limited to just three boats. This, in turn, led to the design of the smaller Virginia class. The Sea Wolf class cost about $3 billion per unit, $3.5 billion for USS Jimmy Carter, making it the most expensive SSN submarine and second most expensive submarine ever after the French SSBN Triumphed and class. The projected cost for 12 submarines of this class was $33.6 billion. Emphasis added. To put those numbers in perspective, 62 of the Los Angeles class subs were built at a unit cost of $1.6 billion in 2020 dollars. Meanwhile, 22 out of the 66 planned Virginia-class SSNs have been completed so far, at a unit cost of $2.8 billion. Sea Wolf Class, Capabilities and Specifications Given those mind-numbing expenditures, it's easy to forget that the Sea Wolf Class subs are some truly impressive warships. Though they lack the vertical launching system, VLS, cruise missile firing tubes of the Los Angeles class, the Sea Wolves have double the number of torpedo tubes as their predecessors, 8 vs 4, and are larger, quieter, and faster. The lack of VLS tubes notwithstanding, they have a capacity for up to 50 UGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missiles for attacking sea surface and inland targets. Additional weaponry consists of the MK-48 Advanced Capability ADCAP, torpedo and the UGM-84 Harpoon Anti-Ship Missile. In terms of durability and survivability, and perhaps as a way of one-upping the double titanium hull of the Typhoons, the Sea Wolf class hulls are constructed from HY-100 steel, which is stronger than the HY-80 steel utilized in older classes, in order to withstand water pressure at greater depths. The official test depth is 1,699 feet. For dealing with the opposite end of the depth spectrum, Sea Forces Online states that the boats also have extensive equipment to allow shallow water operations. The class uses the more advanced RC modified and slash BSY2 combat system, which includes a larger spherical sonar array, a wide aperture array, WAA, and a new towed array sonar. 
Each boat is powered by a single S6W nuclear reactor, delivering 45,000 horsepower, 34 megawatts, to a low noise pump jet. The first two ships in the Sea Wolf class are the USS Sea Wolf, SSN 21, and the USS Connecticut, SSN 22, commissioned on July 19, 1997 and December 11, 1998, respectively. They sport a hull length of 353 feet, 108 meters, a beam width of 40 feet, 12 meters, and a draft of 36 feet, and a submerged displacement of 9,138 tons. The third and final ship of the class, the USS Jimmy Carter, named for a U.S. Naval Academy class of 1947 grad who served as the submarine officer under the Iron World leadership of Admiral Hyman G. Rickover, has an additional 100 feet of hull length and 3,002 tons worth of displacement due to the insertion of a section known as the Multi-Mission Platform MMP, which allows launch and recovery of remotely operated underwater vehicles ROV, and Navy SEALs. All three Sea Wolf class boats carry a crew complement of 140, 14 commissioned officers and 126 enlisted sailors, and boast a maximum speed of 35 knots, with a silent speed of 20 knots. The future of the Sea Wolf class? As far as I can ascertain, none of the Sea Wolf class subs has been used in combat thus far. But given the ever-increasing belligerence stemming from Russia, China, and North Korea alike, the predatory fish's mechanical namesakes may yet get their first blooding sooner rather than later, and thus prove themselves worthy of the hefty price tag. <laughs>